I've been playing with this Dell Optiplex 745 mini tower. After installing Windows 8.1 and then upgrading the RAM to 8 gigabytes, I decided to install a video graphic card. I found a good deal with this 1 gig Asus. Uh, they call it the HD 5450 Silent and has no fan. Mine was a very easy installation and it gets installed just the way it comes out of the box. It comes with the uh, high profile bracket already installed on it. You don't have to uh, convert it to the small uh, low profile brackets here. But I'm going to give an example to how easy it is to install the low profile brackets. If you have um, one of those uh, low profile computers. We take the one Phillips screw off just above the HDMI plug there. Then we remove the screws that hold the DVI and VGA plugs in with, uh, with a pair of pliers. And install the small plate that goes on top of the HDMI and the DVI plug. Tighten the screws real well. And then we do the same thing with the VGA um, plug. So you'll have two separate slots there, one with the VGA, one with the HDMI and the uh, DVI. And there you go, you put them side by side for the low towers. Mine is the high one. So we, I won't have any issues using the, uh, the high profile. Simply slide out the bracket cover lined up with the slot on your plug. Then take the graphic card and make sure that it does not interfere with anything. Line it up with the plug. Look both sides. Be very careful not to uh, damage any other uh, uh, whatever that's on those boards uh, that looks like a perfect fit I looked on each side and the back that's perfect and the front seems to be lined up as well okay we're uh, ready to gently start pushing the card into the slot and using the lever, the blue lever there, you need to uh, hold it while you're pushing it in. It's sort of a locking mechanism and that would also be used to uh, pull it out. And there it is. We're done. The front looks perfectly lined up. Only other thing to remember is to make sure you plug in your screen plug to the, uh, the VGA plug to the new one instead of the old one that will be it. Uh, just make sure you use the new one. After replacing the chassis cover and connect the monitor cable, reconnect all the power cables and then just follow the instructions on the screen. Uh, since I had the one 8.1 I believe the drivers were already in there so it didn't ask me to do anything. Uh, works perfectly fine. The graphics are great. Good luck.